Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kira. I share videos on shopping for the best basics on the high street, how to build a capsule wardrobe and lots of other good stuff. So if that sounds good to you, then do hit subscribe because I would love to have you back for more videos. So in today's video, we are doing a follow on from my previous capsule wardrobe video, which was all about my 10 piece capsule winter wardrobe checklist. So this video is my 10 piece capsule winter wardrobe accessories checklist. Just like in my previous capsule wardrobe videos, I like to do things a little bit differently and I like to do just a 10 piece checklist to be really, really concise and show you the things that I am most wearing or the things that I'm most excited about to have as like my core wardrobe for autumn winter. You'll also notice in this video that some of these accessories are very much geared towards the cold weather and also the party season. So hopefully these items can take you through the cold season snap and also into the party season and all of that good stuff. So we've got a mix of things here. As always, everything will be linked right down in the description below. I'll also leave info on any sizing and I'll also leave info on any discount codes that I can find as well. All right, so without rambling on too much, let's get straight into it. The first item in my 10 piece winter accessory checklist is your cozy scarf. And this is such a no brainer, but really, I don't want a million scarves. I want one or two really good ones that are gonna keep me so warm and cozy. And this one is by far my favorite, favorite scarf. This is by Acne and I picked this up. I think I got it in TK Maxx a few years ago. I actually bought it for Yosef and it was 50 euro, which is such a good price for an Acne scarf. This thing is massive, like it is really big. It's basically like a little blanket in itself and it's nice and long and I just love wrapping this around over all my cozy winter outfits. I just love how it looks when it's just thrown over the shoulders. It's so gorgeous. Now, if you're not a fan of black, as I've said before, go for a neutral color that you like. I have a gorgeous tan one as well that I love. You can go for gray. It's really beautiful this time of year. Even if you're spending a tiny bit more, it's gonna make all the difference when it's wrapped around you. And you're also gonna see the difference in the weight of the fabric. Like it's gonna sit really, really nicely. And then provided you take care of it, it's gonna last you season after season. I think this one is maybe three years old. There's also a lot of ways you can wear them to be fair. You don't have to chuck them around the neck. You can wrap them around the shoulders and belt them almost like a blanket scarf, especially if it's big enough. And they just look so stunning and so chic. So that is item number one. So following on from that, item number two is your cozy beanie. And the exact same principle applies. I recommend getting a good quality beanie. And the places that I think do the best ones on the high street for the best value are H&M's premium section and Arquette. I know Arquette do a very popular, I think is it a mohair beanie? And I really do think I need to pick up one because they have some gorgeous shades. So these two I picked up on H&M's premium section. I think they were around the 30, 40 euro mark, but they're really good quality wool and you can really feel the difference. They're so soft. They just feel really nice on the skin. They're not itchy on my head. They don't squish my head. Um, I won't put them on now because they'd absolutely wreck my ponytail, but they're really, really nice on. Brands like Arquette, I think are great. They do great scarves, they do great hats. And I think that having one or two key pieces in some basic colors in your wardrobe will just stand you in such good stead. Another brand that does an iconic beanie in wintertime is of course the Gani beanie. You can get these on retailers like Farfetch, Brown Thomas. They come in or around the kind of 80 euro mark. So they are a little bit pricey, but they're so chic. And obviously you've got your little Gani logo and they're really, really cute if you wanted something that's a little bit more, I don't know, eye-catching, they're gorgeous. So item number three on your winter capsule wardrobe checklist is a good pair of gloves. And these ones right here are the ones that I recommend. So these are from Amazon and they were such a good price. I think they were under 20 pounds. These are, I don't think they're real leather, but they are fleece lined. So they're really, really soft. They're really nice and slim on the hands. They have this nice braided detail here, but they're also tech friendly gloves, which means that you can answer your phone. You can like swipe and do bits when you're wearing them. And again, Gloves, especially a dark leather glove in winter is so chic. It looks so good with your outfits. I especially love it with a faux fur coat, a dark leather glove, and it's just, it's so chic and a pair of sunglasses, it's divine. But also they're so practical because especially when I'm out and about and I'm shopping, I'm carrying bags, or when I'm shooting and I'm like holding the phone a lot, my hands get so cold and I feel like a pair of chic leather gloves 
They have to be on your wish list if you don't have them already. So that's all for the cozy items at the moment. Next, I'm going to look at bags. And an item that I really recommend for your winter wardrobe is a dressy baguette bag. And that's basically kind of your under the shoulder bag in a slightly dressier style that can take you through lots of different occasions. Because we all know at this time of year, you have lunches, brunches, catch ups. Some are more casual, some are more dressy. You've got Christmas parties, events it's a good one to have. So the one that I really recommend is a newer purchase and it is the Charles and Keith. I believe this is called the Cessia bag. This is in their newer patent style. They do like a smooth leather version, which is also gorgeous. The smooth leather version is really, really chic, but I love the patent. I think it makes it so dressy and it's perfect for the party season. So it has this little pop fastener here that goes in with kind of a little magnet and then you open her up and you have your chamber in here and it's the perfect size for a night out. This is very reminiscent of the iconic YSL hobo bag, which is another baguette style bag. And I just think the price of this is so good for how stunning it is, for how good quality it is. I know Charles and Keith are a brand that are so hyped. I always see people talking about them on like TikTok. Um, so I had to pick up one for myself to see. And guys, like the quality is there. I would love to pick up another one of their bags so I can do kind of maybe an overview of the brand. But I think for now, this is definitely my favorite recommendation from them. And I've already worn this on a couple of kind of nights out and drinks and stuff like that already and it's just perfect it just goes with everything the patent just gives it a little something as well and obviously the gold details are beautiful now the next bag I'm going to recommend is an elegant clutch and this is for those events that are a little bit more dressy you might be going to a winter wedding a ball or like just something where you want something really really elegant and the bag that I'm going to recommend and that I've been using loads is the Demelier Vancouver clutch I just adore this I feel like this style of clutch, especially with this little top handle, I don't see anything else like it on the high street right now. It gives that beautiful classic elongated clutch vibe that you can kind of have under the arm or just grab here by the top handle. But there's something about the croc finish, the beautiful gold details, and then this little detail here on the top. I just think it kind of almost looks vintage, but then modern as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. If you open it up here, you will see it has this gorgeous little chain detail, which you can tuck away, but it also means that you can wear the bag like this you can kind of hold it like that it will just about fit under the arm to be honest I've just been tucking this little chain away but it's so minimal it's really easy to hide and if you open it up here you just have your big chamber here it's going to fit your phone keys cards makeup it has a little zip pocket in the inside here as well and it's just a gorgeous bag. There's something about an elegant clutch that I just adore, especially for the party season. I think there's something so refined and chic about like a beautiful outfit and just a really slim, gorgeous clutch. Again, I love a baguette style, but there's something about having no straps and just grab, like having something held in your hands that I just adore. I think it's so stunning. So if you're looking for a really beautiful, premium clutch this is so divine i'll have these two bags linked in the description below but i will also link some similar items on the high street if you wanted something for a different price point i will put options for both of those bags as well so now let's move on to footwear and the next item i'm going to recommend in your capsule winter wardrobe checklist is the flat ankle boot now these are definitely a chunkier version and i have to say when it comes to a flat ankle boot I do like a little bit of chunk. I think it just looks really, really cool whether you're wearing them dressed down with denim or with a pair of like cool leather trousers, especially with ankle boots like these that have a high, um, kind of cuff on the ankle, you can tuck your trousers into them, which I think looks so, so cool. Or again, if you have like a slightly wider leg or a slight crop on your trouser, you can just have the ankle boot kind of peeking out underneath. They're from River Island. I've had these a good few years now. They get worn every single year. They're perfect for wearing. If you have like outdoor days, but you still want to be kind of dressy, I'll wear these with big chunky socks, a leather trouser, and I feel so warm and comfortable, but I still feel like these look kind of chic and cool, but I will link some very very similar ones online I know this is a style that comes out every single year and again if this is a style of shoe that you wear a lot then you could consider investing in like a real leather version better quality brands like and other stories Arquette brands like Flattered have amazing versions of these so the next item in your capsule winter wardrobe checklist is the flat riding boot and this is one that I have not picked up yet because I'm trying to decide which one but I wanted to include it in this video because I just know it's going to be one of my winter capsule items it's that beautiful slim flat 
elegant, very equestrian style boot that I think is such a good option for like a chic daytime look. I adore my knee high boots with a heel. Um, you guys know how much I love my Massimo Duty ones. I wear them so much, they're fantastic. But I want something that is very much a running around town version. Um, so I'm gonna show you some of my favorites here. There are gorgeous ones on brands like And Other Stories. They are divine, they're a little bit expensive, but they're gorgeous. Brands like H&M. I will link some of my favorites in the description and I'm gonna pick up a pair of them soon, but I really wanted to feature them in this because they're going to be one of those pieces that I'm just gonna wear so much. Much. I'm so excited to order them. So the next few items in the capsule wardrobe checklist are more party wear themed. And the first item we're gonna talk about is the party heel. Now in my previous autumn video, I mentioned the black court heel and that is still a staple of mine. I wear that well into the party season, but I wanted to show you an option that's a little bit more party season appropriate, which are these gorgeous embellished courts. These are from River Island. I will link them below. And the courts that I showed in my previous video, the patent kind of shinier, uh, more minimal courts are also from River Island. They do amazing footwear. They do great party heels and they're always quite comfortable, which I really like. So these are a great option. But what I also wanted to give a nod to is this little buckle detail here. You can buy clip on buckles for your shoes on places like Amazon. I'm gonna link them below and I'll show you photos here. So what you could do is you could take the court heels that I mentioned in the previous video, you could take your classic courts and then just pop your buckle onto them. Um, and then you have a party shoe and it means that you're you know, using your item more. But I do think that a pair like this, whether they're a clip-on buckle or whether you buy them like this, are great for the season ahead. You can style them with your casual jeans and a little shirt and they just give that gorgeous dressy casual look. You can also wear them more dressed up with like a satin midi skirt or your cocktail dress for weddings, occasion wear. A classic court heel with a little bit of sparkle I think is just such a good one for this time of year. So the next accessory in your capsule winter wardrobe checklist is a pair of cozy tights. This is such a foolproof item. If you get your pair of good quality, sturdy, ladder resistant tights, you will get the wears out of. Now I did mention this brand in my shapewear and underwear video recently. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it below. But the most ladder resistant and like sturdy tights that I have found thus far are by Swedish Stockings. They're a gorgeous brand that do such high quality tights. They are so durable. I have them in a slightly higher denier and then I have them in a lower denier. I do think both are having a moment, especially this year we're seeing trends of fully opaque tights in colors like reds, blues, like jewel tones. Let's say you've got a red dress and then red tights. And I think it's really cool, especially if you style it properly. I think it's a super fun look, but I love the idea of doing a dark opaque tight with your shorter dress, your little black dress or your sparkly dress. It just brings everything down. So if you have those dresses that are a little bit more kind of skimpy for the party season, throw them on with a heavier black tight and they're gonna look perfect. And of course, they're not just for the party season. I wear my tights on the daily. If I'm wearing anything with my legs out in winter, if I'm wearing any shorts or skirts or anything like that in winter, I'm more often than not wearing a tights with them. It just depends on which denier is gonna work for that day. But again, a good pair of tights, I think is a huge part of your capsule accessory wardrobe for winter. Swedish stockings are a little bit more expensive, but they are the best quality that I found. There are brands like Marks and Spencer that do really, really great tights. You can get packs of like, three for maybe 13, 14 euro. And they're also really, really good too. They do a lot of lower denier as well. If you wanted like 10 denier, 15 denier, which are a little bit more likely to rip anyway, um, they do some great ones. And the very last accessory in your capsule winter wardrobe that I'm gonna talk about is the hair accessory. And I think this is so key for the party season because it just makes such a difference with your outfits. So the first one I'm gonna show you here is this lovely satin one. Again, I think I may have picked this up. It was either Amazon or H&M. I have so many hair bands, I honestly have lost track. And again, these are really comfortable to wear, but I'm gonna show you this one as well. This one has a little bow on it. And when you wear it, this is like, it vanishes into your hair and you just see the little bow. I have worn all of these over the last few years when the party season comes around. I feel like using accessories, not just our jewelry and our earrings, but also hair accessories, things like gloves, they can make such a difference to an outfit. And it means that you can re-wear and re-wear restyle your items without having to buy 
a new party dress. If you're throwing on a little black dress with let's say a little head bow or a hairband or a pair of cute gloves, it's gonna make such a difference and it's gonna make it look like it's a brand new outfit. Really, you can wear hair accessories any time of year, but I do think the party season is the perfect time to do it. I'm going on a trip to London later this week uh, with some pals and we're gonna be shooting lots of content. I'm in the process of packing and I'm pulling out all of my favorite hair accessories for the party season and I'm so excited. So you will see lots of photos of me wearing these and styling all of these accessories up over the next few weeks. So there you have it guys. Those are the 10 accessories that I recommend for your winter capsule wardrobe checklist. I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. As always, everything will be linked down in the description below. I'll leave all the info there. You can also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.